Hey everyone, it's Ross, and today I want to talk to you guys about a product that I use that I couldn't really grow figs without. Um, I use this this bag here on a lot of my fruits, not just figs, but we've talked a lot about these, and I kind of want to just make a separate video on this topic because a lot of you guys have asked me where do you get these? You know, what are they? They're called organza bags. They're party favor bags that uh, people usually give out in weddings and such. And you can find them very easily on the internet, on eBay or Amazon. I like to use the 4 inch wide by 6 inch long bags. And you can see they have these little ties here. So you just slip this over the fig, the neck of the fig or the stem of the fig, and then tighten it. And then that way, a lot of ants or fruit flies uh, it also disguises the fig from birds or critters um, some critters have learned I'm not gonna lie it's not a uh, perfect you know it's not a perfect system but uh, it does help deter the birds especially if they're colored and not red um, you'll see here that I have some black Madeira in the greenhouse ripening and there's ants starting to crawl all over this they do help with ants, the bags, but you know, it's not a, it's not, again, it's not a guarantee and some ants will definitely get in the bag. Some insects will definitely get inside the bag, but it's better than nothing. And for me, when I like to let my figs ripen as long as possible to bring out the maximum flavor with these things, it's really important. So that's kind of it. You know, I really put this, I want to show you guys some other ideas of uh, other fruits so you know that's just the figs but what about raspberries for example right I've slipped this over clusters of raspberries before you can see this one doesn't look too great because it's pretty much we're at frost now but I've slipped them over clusters of raspberries instead of instead of netting your fruits you can put organza bags on them and you know it can be a little bit more work versus uh, dealing with a net the same thing with blackberry clusters right we can definitely slip over a bag on these blackberry clusters in fact I'm gonna pick one here I'm getting blackberries still and it's uh, Halloween today is Halloween um, some things you can't do is put them on fruits like mulberries because the mulberry forms so close to the wood. You know, um, just in the way that this, this tree fruits, it just doesn't, it's impossible, number one, and it's just not feasible to cover every single little mulberry with a bag. So for something like this, it's better to trim this thing back and actually net it, you know? Um, I've also done the same thing with persimmons you know my persimmon tree this particular tree hasn't fruited yet but this year I did grow persimmons and you know those little orange globes ho hanging from the tree we had organza bags on them protecting them from everything you know um, there's so many applications guys there really is um, let me show you guys more fruits more fruit trees and why I think pretty much any fruit that's large or in a cluster I think is feasible for these bags you know something like cherries it's not gonna work right there's too many cherries uh, you know the, the cherries are so close to the tree uh, in a way that uh, it just doesn't make sense you know I wish I had all these fruits on the tree right now to show you guys but you know take my word for it it's not really a great example um, what I have done though is put them over grape clusters and some people will do this actually they'll they'll put uh, plastic bags or they'll put um, brown paper bags over their grape clusters and you can see this is where they were all these little clusters hanging from these these vines perfect for organza bags the same thing with apples and if you have apple trees or larger fruits like stone fruits pears you can bag every single one of these fruits some people do some people bag them with uh, with brown paper bags I mean even people with large orchards they go to crazy lengths uh, to protect their fruit and get high quality fruit 
it's a long process depending on how big your trees are but these peaches I did exactly that um, this year in fact I wish I had done it earlier because if your critters or whatever is like you know attacking these fruits if they find those fruits unprotected they will definitely go after them so if you have them protected from the start it may deter them and they may not know they're ever there but if you you know leave them there they're not protected uh, they're just gonna keep coming back for more they know where the food is other things this may work for I guess or not work for probably wouldn't work for jujubes or che um, just in the way that they fruit you know um, certainly could work for tomatoes larger beef steaks if you have a problem with that you could you could slip over uh, a bag over an entire cluster of tomatoes so I hope that kind of helps guys um, you know they really do have a lot of uses and they're really not that easy to deal they're not that difficult to deal with and they're not that expensive so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one I think this video has been a long time coming and hopefully if someone has a question uh, you know where I can get these bags I can just link them to this video so all right guys take care and I'll talk to you all soon